Hello and welcome back to chapter 2 of Tell Me Why. If you like so far what you're seeing then you're very welcome to uh, leave a like on this video and if you want to see more like this feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I would say let's continue with chapter 2. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste.
Chapter 2 Family Secrets You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, 
but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Well, Ellison's hair looks great. <laughs> Let me get some, some light. So we are supposed to sort the ground floor furniture, finish the kitchens, sorting. All right. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Trench. We ate way too much expired food on this table. Oh. Oh god, that's what's that smell? What's that smell? <laughs> Ooh, what's that smell? Oh, smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be stinky pants Sam? <laughs> oh, stinky pants Sam! Oh, <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. A skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm -mm. So good. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Recipe book. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. Dump and cake. Ingredients, one can cherries, one can crushed pineapple. Eight ounces chopped walnuts, crossed out by twins, <laughs> chocolate chips instead. For the cake mix, two cups flour sifted, one teaspoon salt, one cup white sugar crossed out, brown sugar or half birch, one half birch syrup, one teaspoon baking powder, three quarter cup butter, note, uh, cold, use margarine, no, use butter, it's always gonna taste better. In a 9 times 13 inch pan, no oh shit. Uh, mix cherries and pineapple. Sprinkle cake mix over pineapple and cherry mixture. Sprinkle walnuts over top. Walnuts crossed out, drawing off chocolate bar instead, of course. Bake in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 35 or 40 minutes or until golden brown. Every day, please, mom. I finished my kitchen, cleaned the coffee table, oh, I have living room sorting, and cleaning the coffee table. Alright, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Hmm. If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. Uh, okay. I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you.
Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean. Uh, hello. I can't. And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. I thought I was stuck there for a moment. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I think I remember the snake part, but you didn't win that horse. I did. And you were crying because you hadn't won anything, so I gave it to you. That makes no sense. Why would you hide it if you gave it to me? Because kids are kids. Do we keep the maze or not? I would keep it. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. We don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Ugh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. Hmm. <laughs> What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. The big frog is an effervescent creature who tries to be kind, but is also a tireless gossip. The Ice King punished her once by telling her his deepest secret. If she ever tells anyone, she'll lose her voice forever. Oh, that's like a um, cage or some small pet. What's up? Should I throw these pictures out? I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right, what's your verdict, Ronan? You know what, I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Oh man. 
man. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on. Like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <gasps> my sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. What to do with this? Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Gray or chai? Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Punishment, said the Ice King. You shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. You're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on, humor me. The Sam is the bear. Oh wait, all the fishing moves. And again, I have no idea what story 
to read here <laughs> to solve the puzzle. Okay, but this is Tessa. Hmm. On the left. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah. But there was always a catch. Okay, so that's probably Tessa. You go here. No, okay. <laughs> so these two? This one. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. And that's Stalking her. Okay. What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there. Lurking. You done? <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. Okay. We swap these two. And that should be it. Or not? Alright. I think I'm done. You sure? Yeah. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. Yeah, we saw that creature in the last, at the end of the last um, episode, called Shepta, standing in the um, police department. That was kind of confusing. The Mad Hunter, that's the Mad Hunter. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a terrible ruler. We have a memory. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way! <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. I, is he here? Is he really here? I don't know. I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. Where that was the we? only time that happened, right? Allison? <sighs> Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks, Sam. Good. Good, yeah. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. Fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. 
Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. That was really cute. Oops, I'm I'm gonna check the bird's house real quick because we fed them. I remember. Hey, the birds ate all the seed already. Hey, the no. birds ate all the seed already. That's it, all right. Okay. I guess we're just fixing the fuse. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. Your mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> No oh, shit. Well, at least the door is open now. Ladies first, I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, that's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Okay. We have three fuses and some instructions. Marianne, I wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run, but in case you want to check it out. Careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have to use 15 ampere fuses for the garage. Amps total up to 120 amp for the whole house. Sam, P.S. Uh, Sam. P.S. Pretty proud of myself. For once I respected the right color coding. Each fuse should have the right color cable. Okay. I'm gonna use 15. But Pass me that mm. handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? Generator heat deck kitchen. Best damn fullback around. Oh, until I got hurt. Damn. That's rough. Hmm? I'm not sure. 
You'll have to use 15 amp fuses, but I only have, um, or do I have several 15 amp? Amps total up to 120. You seem to be working just fine. Problem must be the latch. No shit. Also, I have more. Oh, okay. I, I thought I only have one each. And that would be a puzzle, but apparently. It's just a placing the. A bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Wait, that's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, <laughs> did you read the note next to the box? I don't have to be electrical, but I gotta run. You have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Ah. Okay. Here, hold this. I want to get a look at the spindle. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check the garage. Which means the garage you two is. Got any, uh, bear insurance? What for? You and but there's already something around. in there. Oh, not always. Mm -hmm. And you can't fend off a bear with smart-ass remarks, you know. We're not getting a gun, Sam. Oh, okay. And I can't go about. Oh, I have to reach 120 for the whole house. Okay, so we have 30. We place 30. Ah, there's mold everywhere. Oh no! Well, don't stick your nose in there. Then. Like it's a goddamn bouquet. Mildew is always a problem with these doors. They're on the north side, so no sunlight. Sounds like the builder really screwed that so up. So we have 60 huh? and we could go Watch with yourself. 20. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? And on the other ones. Mm -hmm. Probably ought to blow dry it too. I usually air out the barn much as I can. With oil in the spring. Lindsay? Hell no. That's stuff. Damn it. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Well, I'm careful you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. I thought I just did the math. But I guess the other ones look okay. Let's try this one. Be careful you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. <laughs> That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. Oh my god, the cables! Oh, I'm so stupid. The color of the cables. So this should be it. Hmm? Seems good. Okay. That took way too long. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. Bye. What was that about? the garage. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write <clears throat> and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Found Marianne's stash. Blueberry, blueberry, salmonberry. Huh. Birch and fireweed? <laughs> Bet it tastes like restricted freedom and 9 p.m. lights out. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, 
not going to be the one to test that out. Hey there, little buddy. Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap. The car? Be my guest. It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Hey, that's not cool. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry, it was a low blow. He really freaked out when he saw that gun rack. <sighs> Remind me to take it down later. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? <laughs> she didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please, leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please, just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and 
Well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I, I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Mm. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Get out! Get out! The last time we picked Tyler's memory, if I remember correctly, in the uh, Becky's supermarket. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Or convenience store or whatever. Get out of here! Mm. And also, like the memories on hypocrite. the scenes that we saw of Marianne, Get she, here. Didn't, she, she didn't seem angry. She actually seemed rather sad most of the time. Get out! So I would pick this one. Get out! Get out! I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? It's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh, well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. <laughs> 